हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम राकेश कुमार झा आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू अन अकेडमी प्लेटफॉर्म लेट्स क्रैक यू पी एस सी सी एस सी एग्जाम विथ अस यू हैव इंडिया लार्जेस्ट लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म यू कैन ज्वाइन अन अकेडमी प्लेटफॉर्म यू हैव डेली लाइव क्लासेज स्ट्रक्चर्ड कोर्सेज लाइव टेस्टेज एंड क्विजेज अनलिमिटेड एसेज तो ऑल दिस थिंग्स यू कैन अवेल एट अन अकेडमी प्लेटफॉर्म लेट्स ज्वाइन एंड इंजॉय अनलिमिटेड एसेज ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन एनालिसिस एंड डाटा You see, we have also our app that is an academy learning app. Through this app, you can have different kinds of things, and definitely you can enjoy a study. It's uh, me, Rakesh Kumar Jha. My philosophy is be your own light. Atma Deepa Bhav. What is this? I mean, I am driven by Mahatma Buddha's philosophy that you have to be all the time driven by your inner energy. I am an MA in political science, Ramjas College, Delhi University. I have participated in different talk shows as an expert in Akash Bani. I have participated as a speaker in a number of national and international seminars. I have also, you know, that I have received certificates and appreciations. I have successfully guided a large number of students like Hemant Sati and so many police officers. So this is me, Rakesh Kumar Jha. Are we at an academy platform? Also, we have more than top hundred educators. through these educators you can also get different kinds of information knowledge and wisdom please join an academy platform now we have also polity governance i mean geography science technology and ncert summary history optional courses current affairs indian economy there are a lot of courses also we can have with us so we have also comprehensive syllabus right now the next is upsc csc subscription what is this this is for one month Three months, six months, or twelve months. So, if you go by these things, then definitely you can have all good things with us. So, have uh, have uh, this facility. You can join UPSC Plus course, iconic course for twelve months and twenty-four months. You can also apply my code that is RJ zero one. What is this? This is RJ zero one. This is RJ zero one. If you go for this, then definitely you will get ten percent. Discount on the plus course and iconic course. That is what from my side, right? And uh, uh, if you uh, join an academy, then definitely you will have a lot of good things. Now I am going to start the students' Yojana one year. This time I am going to talk about the Yojana August second part. Already one part I have discussed. It's me, Rakesh Kumar Jha, Civil Services Coach, speaker. This is what. right uh, now i am going to discuss about the um, conditions of the yojana because you know i all the time saying to you that the students should not forget to um, memorize the information because retaining the information is very important without retaining you cannot solve the question simply you are making what happens generally the students start preparations from uh, their uh, perspectives they write down and then they do everything but when it comes for the practice then definitely they are lacking behind why because you see they are not doing that sort amount of practice because you know in other subjects like in polity or or in other subject geography in every subject there are certain pattern there are something retain and you have to revise again and again but in this current affairs you see it's a very dynamic subject and uh, you know that you have to know all the terminologies from different all subjects and then we have to reply here so current affairs are little bit different to the other conventional or traditional subject because you have to know the perspective at the same time what the new things are happening what the new dimensions have come up so that is the important point and i have already discussed in a lot of previous series 1 2 3 4 from january and up to august that just for the sake of your revision of the test revision of the informations so that in the coming examinations on 4th october you would not have any problems because you have taken everything in the command so how the command can be done because if you do the practice only then it comes because they said that practice makes a man perfect and if you do in the perfect way then only you can solve this questions once again i am telling and you that please solve the questions please do solve the questions it will really help you in a miracle and i know that you people have done tremendous hard work you have given everything to the preparations 
but still something is left and please join this an uh, academy youtube class of my current affairs my code is rj01 my code is once again i am telling rj01 if you go by this code subscription then you will have 10% discount once again i am telling having my experience with the more than 10 years 15 years you can also avail this facility at this an academy platform it is very good opportunity for the budding bureaucrats of the country or the youth of this india and i hope that from every nook of the corner maybe from jammu maybe from kashmir himachal bihar punjab bengal tamil nadu all the students on the andhra pradesh they are joining they are writing all the students and all the beauty of this upsc examination you know that all the serious students are there who have the dream to serve the country and that's the beauty of this you once again i welcome to an academy platform let's start the discussion question number one the, are you ready to solve the questions dear students if you are ready then please start the questions for us a kind of memorial stones are mainly found in which of the following regions now Question number one, I am going to discuss. What is this? Mohras, a kind of, what is this? Memorial stones. Which uh, regions? Like Jammu, Ladakh, Kashmir, Himachal. So there are four options. So what is the answer? Answer is one, it is Jammu. Now I am going to explain what is this. Because you know the found all over the Jammu regions, memorial stones provide an insight into ethnic characters, customs, belief and practices of Dograj. Who have a distinct identity, language, and traditional mode of living. Hence, option A is correct. Basically, you see, it is uh, all over Jammu regions, and despite continuous political instability in the area since ancient times, when it came to a social mode, marital communities of Dograj adhered to set of values with its emphasis on valor, honor, and chivalry. Hero warrior stones are raised in the honor of warriors locally called as Moharas. These memorial stones are invariably found near a water source like ponds, the freshwater springs and especially in the post 17th century freshwater springs. Basically, if you, why I am discussing because Dograj are the people, they are uh, like you know the warriors and they had enacted their values, social values, practices, norms, customs, even if the uh, a lot of turmoils and their political turmoils were there there were a lot of other things were there but they thought that no we should preserve our culture values and all so this is what a basically uh, moharaj means what a kind of warrior this you have to understand their students and basically you know that uh, this is very good information uh, as i am studying about the cultural diversity that you have to understand in a very nitty gritty Okay, now the questions are the diverse in the nature. That's you have to understand. Why diverse? Because sometimes you have to study Mohara, sometimes you have to study about Amir Khosro. Now the following question number two, are you ready to solve? Yes. All right. Okay. Which of the following works are attributed to Amir Khosro? Okay. Attributed to Amir Khosro. The invention of the sitar, the invention of tabla, composition of swan geet this you have to understand okay and options are also okay now what do you think amir khusro what is the explanation d one two this is the correct answer so i am going to amir khusro delhavi is an iconic figure what is he? he is an iconic figure in the cultural history of india he was a musician okay you have to understand he was a musician, a scholar, and a poet. Because you know, the musician, a scholar, poet, and a Sufi mystic and a spiritual disciple of Hazrat Jamuddin Aliya of Delhi. Right? So you have to know the Amir Khusri. Amir Khusri, Khusro was a musician, scholar, poet, and a Sufi music and a spiritual disciple of Hazrat Nizamuddin Aliya. He enriched Hindustani classical music with Persian and Arabic elements from which originated various styles in Hindustani classical music such as Khayal, Tarana, Savela, Chaturang, Trivat, Sadar, Kalan, Tilangana, Koel, Palwana, Nask, 
फुकौल नस्क और निगार रंग मंधा धमल स्वान गीत एक्सेट्रा वट यू हैव टू एट हाउ अमीर खुश हैड जस्ट टेकन आवर दिस क्लासिकल म्यूजिक इन टू डिफरेंट परस्पेक्टिव इन टू डिफरेंट डायमेंशंस एंड ही गोज अप टू दैट लेवल इन्वेंशन ऑफ तबला एंड सितार इज ऑल्सो ट्रेडिशनली एट्रीब्यूटेड टू अमीर खुश ओके वॉट इज दिस द इन्वेंशन ऑफ तबला एंड सितार वॉट इज दिस द इन्वेंशन ऑफ तबला एंड सितार इज ऑल्सो एट्रीब्यूटेड टू अमीर खुश ही रोट हीज पोएटिक एक्सप्रेशन इन हिंद भी हिंद भी इज इन तो स्टेटमेंट वन एंड टू आर करेक्ट द ट्रेडिशनल ऑथेंटिक एंड रियल सूफी म्यूजिक बेस्ड ऑन अमीर खुसरो पोएट्री इज अ रेयर ट्रेजर ऑफ दिल्ली घरा दिल्ली घरा इन दिल्ली दिल्ली तो इट इज नॉट दिल्ली घरा सम कंपोजिशन ऑफ अमीर खुसरोज ऑल्सो फाइन पॉपुलर एक्सप्रेशन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्वान गीत एंस स्टेटमेंट सी इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट तो दिस वे वाई आई हैव डेयर स्टूडेंट्स माइंड माई लैंग्वेज वाई आई हैव एक्सप्लेन ऑल दिस why i have gone through the nitty gritty of this topic okay that you have to read yeah correct it but once you know the pattern once you study deeply that amir khusre was a uh, musician a scholar and poet and he was a spiritual disciple of hazrat nizamuddin aulia he created even hindavi in which he wrote different kinds of poetic expressions tabla and sitar is also attributed to amir khusre this is what we have to then all these perspectives then only can crack upsc exam all energy all interest okay next question is what is this with number third so please go this questions okay are you ready let's start the reference to cultural activities of gujarat okay what is this cultural activities of gujarat consider the following statements Rathanvi Gheer Dance. What is this? Rathani Gheer Dance is celebrated on the occasion of Janmashtami. Rural sports are organized in Tar Netar Fair. Now, if you know the cultural things of Gujarat, only then you can do the things. Otherwise, you cannot do these things. Things. Okay. So next is Tar. This is this is what? This is one, two, and both one and two. Which of the statements given below is correct? With the reference to cultural activity of Gujarat, consider the following. Right now, if I go, answer is B, both one and two. Now, before going to this, I am going to explain this. Anbi Ghair dance is celebrated on the occasion of Holi, known as Kavanth festival. Okay, this is what Kavanth dance is celebrated on the occasion of D, as known as Kavanth festival. named after the place where the holy carnival takes place hence the statement is not correct so this statement is not correct how the ghair dance with music see what dance with music performance began on dhulendi which is literally the day of flying colors dust this is the day when people smear each other and with color powder festivals uh last for 5 days during which the ratwas observe fast and abstain from sleeping on cots washing clothes and bathing so what the kind of traditional feelings traditional things that you have to understand. okay arnier fair is one of the biggest fairs in the gujarat this the biggest fairs in the gujarat most popular example of rural sports and exhibits of the most spectacular human pyramids formations for which participating contingents prepare all year round and statement two is correct okay this you have to understand okay how the point is that what i am going to uh, tell that you have to understand all the nitty gritty okay that you have to understand all the nitty gritty so if you go by jat culture and all these things then definitely you have to understand in a very lucid manner okay so basically tarnar fair is one of the biggest fair it is the most important fair what is this it is the most important fair of what let me tell you if you understand the gujarat only you can know and it is the most popular example of 
ruler sport you know there are so many types of sport the ruler urban and all these things but sometimes there are a specific kinds of and that you have to understand while this trade fair celebrated in the ruler culture of the state that you have to understand that also plays but you have to plays host to the states every year by sanskruti kunj fair sanskruti kunj fair that you have to understand in a very nitty gritty making gujarat truly a culture that embraces diversity as a unity force of culture this you have to understand in a very pro so once again i am telling you that gujarat activities cultural activities what is the ratwani here what is the ruler space and how these are interlinked because you know that it is said that the all cultures having different kinds of customs values faith beliefs their practices so that is the diversity and india is full of diversity you know that india is not only the full of diversity it is you see the uniqueness of our culture uniqueness of our unified culture we are from different sect and religions but our values are uh, same we do believe in humanity in uh, respect uh, others each other and coexistence peaceful coexistence that is what understand that if you read about some activities like cultural activities of other country what really it means it means that we have to understand that how other people are living in one state or other region that's the point that's the knowing interchanging the uh, values interchanging faith interchanging kinds of things what you have to understand so my point is very simple that dear students while you read would always think it out that what you are studying do you find that it is practically possible do you find that it is practically uh, you can practice it that's the point until unless you are not connecting your thoughts to the practices to the value system to the society the explanation is not going to help you as an educator what i can educate you as an educator what i can give you just to open up your mind broaden your mind thoughts process and that's the role of an educator is in not kinds of exchanging only the information because information you know everywhere you can get everywhere you can get the information but an, a, as an educator i have to give you certain dimensions of your thinking power that critical thinking is very important analytical thinking is very important besides analytical thinking you should have a kind of thinking attitude and that kind of thinking attitude will make you different sort of thing. once again i am telling you that please try to understand this thing please make it possible and i once again telling you that uh, not just do the practice of questions and all if you remember uh, these things very long time then you have to connect once you connect with the thoughts then definitely you will have very least chance the silly mistakes now once again coming for the next question what is the next question students are you ready if you are ready please just solve it with reference to raj ratnagiri what is this raj ratnagiri can you tell me yes okay consider the following statement major part has been composed in prakriti language major part has been composing prakriti language it contains criticism about the rulers and their policy what is this present policy how do you think how do you analyze do you think only one is correct or two what is the guess guess b b means only two is okay so this is the right answer now i am going to discuss why kalhan was a famous writer who wrote a long sanskrit poem das tarangi river of kings on the kings of kashmir by using a variety of sources such as inscriptions comments eyewitnesses accounts earlier histories and statements not correct this is uh, the explanation he was usually critical about rulers and their policies so and very critical unusual for the 12th century was a long sanskrit poem 
containing the history of kings rule over kashmir and statement to be correct okay so this was so basically uh, this raj tarangani and uh, you know that uh, that is there so it contains criticism about the rulers and their policy so you know that uh, this uh, raj tarangani is full of uh, like this what the kalhans basically you understand this thing and solve the questions of the question number 5 consider the following statements on a, is a traditional dance drama based on vaishnav tradition okay second option is in arunachal pradesh only mahayana school of buddhism is followed i think what is neither one or two or one or two both and all so this question number 5 Have to solve, dear students. So please solve with me. What is this Bhayana? Is a traditional dance drama based on Vaishnav traditions. In Arunachal Pradesh, only Bhayana school of Buddhism is allowed. So what should be the option? Mind this. Then you have to understand the answer. Answer is A. That is one is the correct. That Bhayana is traditional dance drama based on Vaishnav tradition. Two is not correct. That's now come for the explanation. ras is a part of new vaishnav culture see this ras is a part of new vaishnav culture of vaishnavity sect of hinduism practiced in the assam it was started by the medieval saint simanta sankrade see this simanta sankrade goes to dance drama to make the common people understand glories of lord krishna as they were unable to understand hindu text that we have written in the praj language of the north hind basically what he did to the practice of uh, playing kinds of things like drama kinds of things what he did uh, he glory of lord krishna had to be uh, shown to the people of the assam and what you have to understand that how if something written other language but with the play you can practice you can make them perfect that way because you know that it was written in the north hind as festival showcases on a traditional dance drama that depicts tales from vaishnava tradition and the statement is correct okay the duty of people in assam tripura and imphal Ali of Manipura subscribed to different forms of Hinduism. Okay, it is not that one kinds of things they are subscribing or practicing. As Nabijam is the most prominent in Assam and Manipur. Among major indigenous faiths are Dwani Polo in Arunachal Pradesh and Nam Tree in Meghalaya. Arunachal Pradesh also has a significant presence of Mahayana school, while the Khamti Bujijam. I mean, there are so many. Uh, sect there are so many practices they are also in the north east memba and khama tribes follow the singhopo tangsa tribes follow the thevda school so hence a statement to which okay so this is the explanation i have just narrated once again i am telling dear students that if this way you do the practice then definitely you would have good things and you solve the questions okay now the question number 6 in which of the following states rajua festival is celebrated okay in which of the following state rajua festival is celebrated right nagaland meghalaya arunachal pradesh assam right so how it is that you have to also understand okay rajua now the point is that answer a it is nagaland okay now the rajua festival of nagaland merits tradition that continues to be observed by a small group of people who barely keep alive the ritualistic practices associated with the ancestor religion hence option a is correct most symbolic and unique element common to all is heralding of nagu the erection of a bamboo totem that resembles a giant wind chime hung from all temple uh, this thing so what you have to right please try to understand the explanation once again coming by the questions which of the following states aju festival is celebrated nagaland meghalaya 
Arunachal Pradesh, right? This we have to practice. Answer is Nagale. Now the question is next question, dear students, question number seven with reference to the categories of land mentioned in the Cholas inscriptions. Which of the following statements are correct? Palangvi were the lands of non-Brahmana peasant proprietors, and the Salangba were the lands of the maintenance of the schools. Brahmana were the land donated by the Jain institutions. Select the correct answers using the code given below: one and three, two and three, and two. What are the options? Please understand it. Let's solve the question. Then, okay. right? So, I mean to say, the Cholaj inscriptions. Mention several categories of land. Answer is C. C means one and two. So the answer one and two are correct. Three is not correct. Okay. So now the point is that what is the uh, Cholaj inscription mentions several categories of land. Palangamari land of non-Brahmana peasant proprietors. Brahmana land gifted to Brahmanas. Salvanga land for the maintenance of his school. Devadana land gifted to the temples. So uh, then, Prachalana land connected to Jain institution. Hence, option C is correct. There are so basically the Chola descriptions were like that. There are so many categories of land. Some of them were for non brahman peasant. Some of them for the Brahmins. Some of them are like maintenance of school, the temples, and all. So this is basically a kinds of historical facts that you have to understand. And if you know, solve this question. Please retain this information, students. This Google question is also important for the PT point. Now, next question is 8. What is this? 6, 7 is over 1 and 2. Okay. 1 and 2 is over. So question number 8. Consider the following statements. What is this consideration? The Natya Sastra. Natya Sastra is comprehensive work for mainly dealing with drama only. Anindabhanda Sangeeta is not restricted by meaningful words and all. What you have to understand okay and the options are one two both one and two neither one and two. this is going to be there then it's a uh, answer is what question is answer is b okay it's two now the explanation the not disaster is comprehensive work mainly dealing with the geometry a few chapters of this deal with music there we get information on the scale of melodic forms tala musicians instrument Hence, a statement is not because you show the Nath Shastra is a comprehensive work with the drama, but uh, you know that some of the chapters are also involved with the music. So, this is not the correct. Anant Vanda Sangeeta is one which is not restricted by the meaningful of the Tala, free of information. So, hence, a statement two is correct. Earliest uh, about which some knowledge is available in the Prabandana Giti. Indeed, Prabandana is often used as a generic term to indicate any Nivand song or musical composition. There are little evidences of this closed form except that they were set to define ragas and talas. Of all non pravandanas those of Deva are the best known. This poet lived in Bengal in the 12th century and composed his Gita Govind, Sanskrit work with the song and all. What the Gita Govind then? So this have to also now this question is finish the question number eight basically if you go by this then Sangeet is not restricted by me or Tala I mean Anindvada Anindvada now the question number nine the reference to Kanjifa consider the following statements these artifacts the number nine the students are you ready what is this Kanjifa these artifacts are the made of bamboo and on this injectis design of Darsavana are hand painted. What are the options? Please tell me. Just tell me dear students how I can do this. Yes. Next. Answer is C. Both and 1 and 2. Correct. Okay. A Ganjifa are handmade playing cards which were earlier used by the royal families. So basically playing cards were by royal family and Swandati. And have reached several museums all over the world now. Oh, very good. These cards are made from the circular pieces of paper on which intricate designs of Dharma, the ten incomers of Lord Vishnu are, are hand painted. Basically, these hand painted cards were there 
and this is very important and hence statement 2 is correct a set of kanjifa consists of 120 cards there are 10 suits each having 12 cards so this we have to understand in a very nitty gritty these cards are having different kinds of playing and different kinds of painting that you have to understand. this uh, if you understand this thing then definitely you can solve royal cards used to have decorative borders because you know cards were for the royal people for the good people for affluent people with the good borders and all this is the kinds of things and the three community has preserved the dying really important so answer is c that you have to do the car now the question number 10 consider the following statements khadi what is this question number 10 khadi and village industries commissions kvic statutory body kvic functions under the ministry of textile the khadi production has risen in the last five years this you have to also understand that what is the exact mean these are the options these are the answers of answer is b B means only one and three. That uh, Khadi and village industries is everybody, and then the Khadi's productions are like five years. Very true. So now the options is that Khadi and village industries, you know, is the body under the Khadi and village commission act. Hence, the statement is correct. Okay, KVIC is charged with the planning, promotions, and all. So this is very important that we have to. It functions in the Ministry of Micro, Small, and Medium Enterprises. Uh, and Adi village industry producer turnover has reached very kind of little information that you have to understand. If you know this thing, then definitely you will have a things to this very important question. My point is very simple, dear student. That if you go by such type of questions, practice that these questions will make you sure, and uh, these are very relevant questions. Why I am telling you? Because most of the questions are relevant in a sense. Because you know the questions. Once you know the questions, you can solve the questions. So once again, I am telling, I am reminding all the UPSC aspirants that please solve the questions in a very integrated way. The Yojana and Kruchetra are very important aspect the UPSC. Please solve it. And as I know, the questions are there, answers are there, practices are there. But what is lacking among the preparations? that you have to understand dear student please read write and imbibe it you are the good students you are the budding youth of this country please understand that what i am telling you that okay you have a, you could have studied yojana very well but solve my questions please go to youtube on academy youtube it's me rakesh kumar ja my code is rj01 and i have done yojana and kruchetra in a very lucid manner in a very exhaustive manner Please try to solve these questions once again. Thank you very much and welcome to Unacanny Platform. Best of luck for your examination. Thank you for watching my video YouTube on Unacanny Platform. Once again, thank you very much. My code is RJ01. You can apply it and get a 10% discount. Thank you very much.